Hello, and welcome to Seymour Library's YouTube channel. In this video, we will be exploring the Mango Languages app. Mango Languages is a language learning service that is available to use for free with your library card. I will be showing you the app using an iPad, but the app should look the same on other smartphones and tablets. Now let's get started. Open the App Store and search Mango Languages. You will see that I already have the app, but you may need to press Git and then install in order to open it. I am just going to tap open. If you already have an account with Mango Languages, you can select Login. If you do not have an account already, you can select Sign Up. I have already created an account with Mango Languages in a previous video, so I'm just going to log in. So I've now entered my email and I'm just going to tap next. Now I need to enter my password. And then tap login. You'll be asked whether or not you want to um, have Mango Languages send notifications. I do not want that, so I'm going to say don't allow. And you will also notice that my page loaded up with my course that I actually started on the Mango Languages website. So your account does connect between the computer and the app. And this is good because you can keep your place within your learning. So if I go back into lesson one, I can see where I left off with chapter one, and then I can go ahead and play. You'll see that I had to tap the button in the lower right hand corner, and then it brought up this pop up, and then I just have to tap resume learning. Listen to the way you would say, good afternoon, konnichiwa. Let's hear that again, konnichiwa. Now you'll notice here within the learning module, uh, it gives me a little notification to tap. And because if I tap it, Konnichiwa. it's going to say that word again for me. And then you will notice too um, that it has the little buttons down below the Japanese word. Konnichiwa. The first one allows the word to be Konnichiwa. played again. Konnichiwa. The second is the microphone, so that you can actually say it and play it back to hear if you're saying the word correctly. Listen to the way you would say, Good afternoon. Konnichiwa. Let's hear that again. Konnichiwa. And the third button is the repeat button. Now if I've gone through and I'm satisfied with that word, I can tap next. Let's hear you say, Good afternoon. Listen to the way you would say, Good afternoon. Konnichiwa. Let's hear that again. Konnichiwa. You'll notice that I went backwards, and that's because the next part actually quizzes you on the word, so it wants you to say it within that time frame. And then it will see how you match up with the word. One more thing to point out, uh, up in the upper right hand. Listen to the way you would say, Good afternoon. Konnichiwa. Let's hear that again. It goes into an autoplay mode. 
you do not have to um, use the app in that way. You can stick to the learning module as it was displayed there. But this way it'll just go through the whole lesson. And then you just have to tap the X to exit. Listen to the way you would say, Good afternoon. Konnichiwa. Let's hear that again. Konnichiwa. And anytime you come back into it, it will automatically play the lesson over. Um, the other thing is the settings uh, tool up in the upper right hand corner. So you can turn the narrator on or off. Um, obviously, if you're trying to learn the language, you probably wouldn't want to turn it off unless you're trying to quiz yourself on the um, actual word as written. You can also add closed captioning. You can uh, turn it Listen to Listen to the mode. way you would say, Good afternoon. Konnichiwa. Let's hear that again. Konnichiwa. And then you can turn that quiz timer off or on. That, that was on the second page. Listen to the way you would say, Good afternoon. Konnichiwa. Let's hear that again. Konnichiwa. I'm going to leave the settings as they are. And I'm now going to tap the big X in the upper left. And that closes down the lesson. Uh, the other thing you will notice is that um, each of these has a little arrow over it. Well, not all of them right now because I tap some. Um, but what you can do is actually download the lesson so that you can view it offline. And you'll see too that there is a little link in order to download all of them at once. Just a couple of other things to point out. In the upper right on this page, uh, you will see your account information. So there's your profile. And you probably won't need a lot of this, um, but you will have the option to delete any downloaded data. So if it's taking up storage space, you can just go ahead and delete there. You can also log out from there. Um, say you're sharing this device with another family member and they have other courses that they're doing, uh, you can log out of here and then they can log into their account. The other thing is the notification bell. There's no notifications right now, so there's nothing to show. But if any notifications come in, I think this includes uh, if you've completed a class, it'll show up there. So if I keep going back and then go to the menu, I can then browse for the other languages. And you'll see that much like the website, there's a lot of languages available. Spanish, French, German, Italian, Korean. And down here you can get to all of the languages that they have to offer. So there's a wide variety to choose from. If you're interested in any of the languages, you can go ahead and click on it. The pirate one is quick and it really is just for fun, but if you are interested in just a quick lesson, you can learn to talk like a pirate. By the end of this chapter, you'll be able to easily participate in a conversation like this. Blow me down, the ship's becalmed. Belay your carousing and haul wind smartly. All my duty to you, Captain. The ship be now a sailing at full speed. Army hearty, a fine gentleman o' fortune be ye. Aye, and finer still with a lass and some booty, I fancy. This is how you say, Oh my gosh, the ship isn't moving. Blow me down, the ship's becalmed. So you'll see that the pirate lesson is a lot of fun. <laughs> but if you're interested in more serious language learning, there are also plenty of opportunities for that with the Mango Languages app.
And that is essentially all there is to Mango Languages and the Mango Languages app. It's a very easy to use language learning service. So if you're at all interested in language learning, you might want to give Mango Languages a try and it is available for free with your library card. Thank you for joining me for this video. Stay tuned for other educational and informational videos, as well as some fun videos coming up from Seymour Library. Stay tuned to our YouTube channel or our social media or website for more great content. And until next time, thank you and goodbye.